In this tutorial, you're going to learn how to take some really cool refracted photographs. Okay, but what does refraction actually mean? Well, it's the bending of a wave when it enters a medium where its speed is different. Now, that wave could be a light wave or a radio wave. So if you have a look in this image, you can see that the background has been refracted or flipped as it has gone through that dense glass ball. The light has been bent as it passed through. In this image, the light has been bent as it passes from the fast medium air to the slow medium of water. And you can see there how the image of the bananas behind the glass has been distorted as the light has traveled through the glass. Pretty cool, isn't it? You're going to need to get yourself a nice glass, clear glass if you can get it. Now, I found this one. I'm sure you've all got one of these. If you recognize it, yeah, it's a Nutella jar. Perfect for this tutorial, okay? So I filled it almost to the top, left a little bit at the top. Then I ran around my house and I found some patterns. Okay, so you can have cushions, you can have wallpaper, you can have bits of origami paper. This is what I found but the, my favourite are on pattern tops and skirts and dresses so you're going to need to rummage around wardrobes upstairs and find some lovely patterns and finally a box now the box isn't a requirement really um, if you're able to prop your stuff up elsewhere but I've needed this box because I want to prop up my patterns so that I can take my refracted glass shot in front of it Okay, first thing you're going to do is put out your pattern that you're going to be taking the picture of. So I'm going to lay that top over that box. I'm just going to move these things out of the way. And I'm going to put it near the edge of my worktop. And I'm going to do that for a reason in a minute and you'll see why. Now, as you can see, I've kind of laid it over the edge and it's draped over the box. I'm now going to take my glass, place it into the middle. Go right down low, and I can go below the level of the glass, you see? So that when I go up close, I'm taking it from quite, quite low down. I'm just gonna turn my camera around a second so that I can set up my shot exactly how I want it. And now, I'm going, can you see when I move it, it makes different refracted images of the pattern through the glass and I'm going to position it where I think it looks nice. Take it from above, take it a bit closer, take it so that it's the top is level, move it about, take it again. Now I'm going to take a few more. You can watch me and speed up the... Ooh, I like that shot. Ooh. Right, that just goes to show that you need to move your camera around. Look how cool that shot is. I like that. Right, watch me speed up. Right, so all that you have to do now is go and find some pretty patterns um, and nice clear glass of water and start taking some fantastic refraction photographs. Then have a look at my next video tutorial to learn how to edit them. Either using your mobile phone, you can get some pretty good results with that, or using Photopea, you can get some really good results with that. Okay, have fun!